and this is Zombie. So fishermen everywhere really know that live bait is the best thing to be fishing with. If you're going after predatory fish, you want to use what they actually eat every day. It's, it's the best thing to use. It looks right, it smells right, it tastes right. It's, it's, it's actually what they eat, but it's a huge pain to get. So there's lots of people that would love to use live bait and can't. So the idea started over a dinner one night in Maine where my family friend was a fisherman who had an idea for a product. And his idea was basically, you know, we can't always get live bait when we're out fishing. And when we have that problem, that could cost us thousands of dollars and a lot of hours of wasted time. So he's like, give me something that will make a dead fish swim again. We came up with a solution in that we could make a dead bait fish come back to life, and therefore he could control his bait supply. He uses dead bait, he uses on bait, and you end up with a live bait again. Some countries in the world using live bait is illegal. In places in Europe, for example, Ireland, Netherlands, both stick out. Uh, you can't use live bait. So for them, this is their only chance to ever use a fish that wiggles in the water like that. And we've heard a lot of uh, responses from after our Kickstarter campaign from fishermen saying, I have to have this now. The first reaction is they see a dead fish swimming in an aquarium and they want to know, okay, what's going on here? Then we kind of explain what's going on and then there's usually a second and then like the jaw kind of drops and the eyes get really wide like, wait, really? You know, that's actually a dead fish that's swimming, you know, it's, it's it's just the product we're making. That's what it does. It's waterproof, it's battery powered. Things that people really want to know is, okay, how long is it going to run for? Um, can I get it back? You know, uh, tell them about the fact there's a tie-on point. Lots of, you know, pretty practical questions about this is a tool I'm going to use when fishing. We realize that it's not just a science project. This really has to be a quality, rugged, durable product built to last. Fishermen are going to depend upon it. And they're depending upon our, our skills and our engineering for that. SolidWorks was a big help in the design process. We were able to, okay, we want to try out this battery and this motor, just sort of import, pull things together and see, okay, spatially, is that going to be the right size? We could kind of very quickly work through different layouts and, and kind of sketch things out very quickly. So the assembly tools, the, the part building tools inside of SolidWorks were really our, our workhorse for how we got our designs from out of our heads and into something we could show people. Uh, SolidWorks is really everywhere. I've used every CAD software there is, um, and I think one of the greatest things about SolidWorks is that so many people use it. So that common language is probably one of the best things about SolidWorks. We've tried to get Zombait out there as much as we can. We've gone fishing and we've sent them all over the world. And we are going to ensure that we are uh, the first, the best, and we're going to conquer the space. So that Zombait is the brand everyone wants to go to when they want to catch big fish, they're going to use Zombait.